As you can see, I'm back in the good old Netherlands, but I'm still trying to protect myself from vampires. Speaking of, let's draw some more vampire related props. In this video, I will be using Art Studio Pro. Uh, but before I started drawing, I looked for reference, something with a vampire hunter in it. And I think I found uh, Abraham Lincoln, Lincoln Vampire Hunter, which is a bit funny, but actually the pose was pretty f fine. So I wanted to take that one. And to clean it up a little bit, I uh, used the lesser tool and just select it. First, I wanted to select the area around the vampire hunter, but then I just decided, yeah, let me just select the vampire hunter. It is a little bit easier and faster like that. And next step, I just inverted the whole selection and deleted everything around the vampire hunter. With that done, I just made the vampire hunter a little bit bigger and then pushed it in the background so I can start draw over him. The idea here was just to draw out a couple of ideas that I wanted to draw on him. So my main idea was to use or design a utility belt that could have maybe a hammer and some uh, stakes that he's carrying around and also some holy water in a uh, different pouch. But I didn't think too much about it. I just wanted to draw out and also just the basic idea okay what what might this look like how might i uh, hang these things onto the belt uh, what sort of i was thinking of leather so like in my head most of the things were leather and maybe silver belt buckles or, or, or silver instead of steel and iron stuff that was hanging there to hold everything in its place and also a couple of crosses here and there of course just to really uh, hold the vampires back like silver or, or crosses made out of silver is uh, actually uh, what what I was thinking and then on one side one pouch four like four stakes uh, that doesn't the number doesn't really matter but if you want to go deeper into the whole lore of uh, vampires you can make up your own idea of or your own story why a specific number is bad for vampires and that's how many stakes you drag with you but in, in this case I just wanted a uh, couple of stakes that are in there and a couple of uh, vials of holy water that he just takes out and throws at the vampire. Uh, we, had, we have that uh, bomb that I created for the previous uh, video, which is also part of this whole vampire hunter fun uh, thing. And this time I thought, okay, let's make it just a little bit simpler and easier and just do some holy water vials and, and throw those. I also wanted to roll out the belt just to see uh, what would go where. Not sure if this uh, step was absolutely necessary, but it does help with the thinking. So I usually I do a lot of my thinking while I'm drawing. So I tend to draw a lot of extra stuff that uh, usually is not really necessary. But once it's there, I see it and and I, I either build on it or I take from it away. Anyway, once that was sort of semi done, I also decided, yeah, I actually I don't need to draw anymore. So it, it, it shows you like, yeah, I start drawing it. It's a waste of time, but at least my brain was like, yeah, yeah, yeah don't, don't waste any more time on this. Just move on to the, to the main part of the drawing. In which case I just wanted to draw this belt on uh, like how it would look like when it's on the human body. Of course, the waist of the human body is not a perfect ellipse, so <laughs> don't think of it like that. But it, if, if you draw it a little bit like this, at least it, it gives it a 3D effect and it looks more uh, worn. Um, yeah, I would say uh, enjoy the, the drawing process and I will come back with commentary once we are doing a little bit of the rendering.
And once I was done with the drawing, I just took a hard brush and filled in the whole area with brown because I thought, yeah, brown leather, why not? And that's what you can see me do here now. Now, once that was done, I thought it would be cool to throw just a quick texture on it, not go into texturing detail like I did in my previous video. Just take one leather texture, throw it on it, as you can see here, I didn't even worry about trying to warp it into the correct place like I did it last time. I just threw it on there. I erased a little bit the bottoms away so it's not such a hard cut and I started immediately painting over it, a little bit of highlights, a little bit of shadows here and there. Uh, this is more just, just to give a taste uh, and I, I wanted to sort of show you that if you love painting, you can still do most of it with painting and the texture will just help you of, of selling the, um, well, yeah, the, the texture of, of the leather. So you don't have to paint in a lot of, if, if you want to show, you can do that as well, but this just speeds it up a little bit. You will see that I spend the rest of the video painting out nicely the silvery metallic areas, the water, and also uh, the wood uh, of the stakes and the wooden hammer. So you can sort of mix these two approaches and at least in my opinion here works. Could be that you don't like it, it doesn't work for you, that's also fine. But I think this sort of gives a nice mix between painted and also using photo texture uh, anyways, I don't have much else to say here. It, it was mostly I just wanted to draw or paint something still related to the vampire killer challenge that we has go going on. Don't forget, hashtag vampyprop. Uh, you still have four days, well, three days, because the deadline is end of Wednesday. So if you have time and if you feel like it, uh, just draw something, come up with something and post it in our Discord or, as I said, on Instagram with the hashtag VampyProp. And then we will have a fun time during our Thursday live stream, taking a look at who did what. Anyways, this was this week's video. I had a lot of fun with it. And I also just wanted to showcase Art Studio Pro again, because I just feel not enough people know about this app on uh, the iPad. And I think it is really, really good. It costs a little bit more or around it. I think it's like 14, 15 bucks. So it's, it's around the same as uh, Procreate, but it's a little bit more Photoshoppy. You have a lot more Photoshoppy layer options and, and adjustment options in it. So it's a little bit more professional. It's a little bit more clunky at the same time. So uh, Procreate is very pure drawing and this is a little bit less pure, but uh, it is, all, it, when I need to do professional stuff, I, I do reach out to this one if I am in need of Photoshop and I only have my iPad with me. And with that said, I hope you guys took something away from this video. Uh, leave those comments in the comment section down below. I really like reading them. If you want me to pep up the pillows on our couch, please hit that like button so that can happen too. And yeah, follow me for more content like this. But the most important part as always is that you folks have a great time and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.